Hello, welcome here. I'm Florin and today I'm going to talk about my first supercharger experience which happened about uh, three months ago into this uh, same place uh, when the weather was a lot more <laughs> miserable. Um, but uh, about this place, it's relatively new, a uh, V3 supercharger location. It's in Emnes, uh, the Netherlands. Um, you can see there are some uh, other uh, high power uh, chargers over there from uh, Allegro. Uh, there are 12 uh, Tesla V3 uh, chargers here. Uh, one probably not, uh, not operational right now. A small uh, yeah, uh, kids uh, playground and uh, a small uh, resting area. But um, yeah, because the, the, the weather was so miserable back then, um, yeah, I tried to record something, but uh, I also had some issues with the, with the sound and so on. But uh, when I reviewed the, the video right now, I could actually get out of it the, the exact uh, charging session. And um, I think there are some interesting aspects that uh, I would like to share with you uh, here. So for that, I will go uh, inside the car. Sitting inside the car now, uh, you can see I have, um, let's say, a profile setting here, um, which is with, uh, with the seat all the way back, uh, steering wheel uh, retracted. So then it allows me for a lot of space for, uh, for work. Um, and you see I have here the, the video ready to play. But before that, let me, let me show you something. Um, I have this car for a bit more than six months now. And I have 9,326 kilometer on the kilometers on the odometer. Um, and then I only used supercharger in one uh, occasion. And uh, that's the one I'm going to talk a little bit more uh, today. But um, this is also telling me something about, um, let's say, the range on this car, but also, let's say, my driving uh, behavior. Uh, a little bit restricted now because of uh, Corona. I... Uh, I mainly charge the car on uh, AC, uh, charger 11 kilowatts, uh, let's say, and I keep the battery somewhere between 20 and, uh, and uh, 80 percent. Uh, but as I said, I only used supercharger in one experience and uh, I tried the DC charger, uh, uh, let's say, when the car was brand new. Uh, yeah, there was a location which the, the, the charging was free and I was, I was just trying to see how, uh, how does it work. But, um, Let's uh, let's play the movie, and then I will uh, I will be talking a little bit over the the movie and what you actually see in in in, in that. Yeah, what we have here is what I managed to record in that evening. On the left side um, is uh, the information captured with uh, Scan My Tesla tool, and then on the right side and in the background, uh, obviously, is the is the screen of the car. Um, you can see um, the, the session started uh, one minute before uh, 9 p.m. and uh, there were about 3 degrees uh, Celsius uh, uh, outside in that uh, evening when I got here. Um, it's interesting that the, the car navigation was suggesting me to charge the car in a, in a different location, also a V3 uh, location, which is much closer to my place, but um, I I choose this place, which is about 25 uh, kilometers away, 15 minutes driving, just because I was aiming to arrive here with the uh, uh, lowest state of uh, charge possible, but also to allow the, the car to uh, heat up the battery uh, by, let's say, um, the, the, the preheating uh, that the car does, but also by hammering the car a little bit uh, on the way here. You can see I managed to get here with uh, 7% and uh, the battery temperature was uh, 23 uh, degrees uh, Celsius. Um, I would say it's not perfect, but it's not that bad considering what was the outside temperature uh, on, that, uh, on that evening. Um, the handshake with the supercharger um, went really uh, uh, smooth. I didn't have to, you don't have to scan anything. You just plug in the car and um, as I said, it was miserable rainy, so I quickly uh, walk inside the car and you can see that uh, the car was already, uh, or the, 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 the power was already ramping up to about 180 uh, kilowatts. Okay, let's play. You can see it will go really quick. Uh, the power will ramp up to 202, 203 kilowatts for a split of a second. And then um, it will gradually, uh, let's say, slow down uh, charging speed. Uh, what you will also see is that um, the front stator and the rear stator, uh, this car it's a dual, uh, dual motor uh, car model, um, will take about 7 kilowatts at some point uh, together 
to warm up the stators you you'll also see the temperature of the stators and then that will also warm up the the, the battery this will go on for about uh, five minutes um, after which um, uh, the battery will reach about uh, uh, 50 degrees Celsius which probably is the optimum temperature for uh, supercharging and then it will uh, it will stop uh, I think at some point it will even start uh, cooling down uh, what I will do here I will play the um, uh, the video in uh, in uh, fast forwarding and um, at the end of the video uh, I will have a reflection and I will also share the the charging curve
these are the last uh, uh, screens that I uh, record in that evening actually the the, the screen uh, with the scan my Tesla I recorded till the end of the session which uh, stopped at, uh, at 60 uh, percent and um, it took uh, together about 22 minutes to charge from 7 percent to 60 percent uh, uh, that evening and it took um, uh, 40 uh, kilowatt hour so that's about uh, a speed of about 110 uh, uh, kilowatts um, not too not too bad i would say you'll also notice that the the the, the stators were uh, were really uh, hot uh, when uh, when the session uh, ended and the battery was about uh, 50 uh, 50 degrees celsius so how the charging curve uh, uh, curve looked like um, it looked like this and um, you can see the different state of charge uh, on the on the horizontal and then on the on the bars it's the is the power and um, as i said this is uh, a session that took about 22 uh, minutes i'll leave this on the screen just for a few seconds for uh, reflection that was my first supercharger experience please let me know in the comments below what you think about it any tips and tricks uh, or any reflections uh, soon i'm uh, going to go on a long trip in europe with this car uh, all the way from the netherlands to romania about uh, 2400 kilometers one way uh, and i'm going to have many uh, occasions uh, uh, with uh, tesla supercharger but not only uh, i plan to share that uh, that uh, experience during that trip in in some other uh, videos uh, so Stay tuned, wish me luck and uh, talk to you later. Oh.